Mexico is an art space, um, but also a collective of people and a curatorial project in Leeds. It was a space that we were going to experiment in and try and determine what a contemporary showing space or production space for contemporary art is and what it should be or what we wanted it to be. Um, the way that it's run by such a large group, kind of by committee, is also quite unusual. Well, we felt that there was like a lack of like, contemporary art being brought into the city. There was a lot going on in the city, but not much coming from outside the city, from the rest of the UK and like Europe and, and well, internationally. So we set it up as like a way to bring the art that we were seeing in other places that we loved so that we could see it here and show it to other people. But there's also a lot of stuff going on regionally around us, so in Sheffield, Manchester, Liverpool, Newcastle, um, and we kind of want to uh, establish connections with with those those cities um, but we're also really interested in Leeds kind of being being outward facing and for Leeds to be seen as a place that you might want to exhibit if you don't live here as well about half the members of the group the the extended group so there were 11 of us that set it up in in the originally um, had met each other through the various projects we were doing before Mexico. So I ran a space um, and still run a project. I don't have the space anymore. So I occupied a unit in the Merriam Market for six years. Um, so the art market and Kunstfreund Gallery was kind of a space that was open and that I met lots of people through either as artists or audience members. Well, I suppose we just, we looked for a space and then we found a landlord where we could rent it for quite cheaply and the conditions were that we did it up. And we received two grand from the Met, who did like a business startup thing, which is quite good. And then we just did it up and put on the show. We had a morning shift and an afternoon shift, so we'd do like six hours each. So for 12 hours a day for a two week solid sanding, just sanding beams. We burn out three, three um, belt sanders, which just, we just kept taking. We just kept taking back and saying, this is broken. We don't know why, and they would refund it. We just started like looking at a lot of other spaces and like how they set up and like from their like funding structure to like the artists they programmed or like the way their website looked or something. We invited some of these spaces that we'd looked at to like submit artifacts from their spaces. So like whether it would just be like the drinks they served at their opening or like a type of signage or uh, like some spaces gave like a recording of the inside of their space. And then we linked it to like the opening times of a gallery in actual Mexico. The title to be decided, which was, took place in March, was all about kind of not the outcome of the works, it was the process that was undertaken. So we didn't know a lot of what was going to happen in the space. Things were changed in the space over the course of a month. Um, works were taken down, more things were put up, and it just kind of evolved as it went on. We came to the conclusion that the name of an art space is kind of arbitrary. Um, it's more important about what you're doing within the space. We were talking about the art scene in Mexico, and we were just like, oh, we should call which you call a gallery in Mexico, and it's slightly like tongue in cheek and it's quite flippant, wasn't it? Really? Yeah, it was. Yeah, we just kind of came across the word and liked it as a word. We just liked the sound of it when we attached it to Leeds, somewhere that's not particularly uh, exotic. People try and like talk to us in Spanish and stuff, mm -hmm. like probably as a joke. Hi, we're from Mexico. Do you want to come do a show? Finding us on Google is quite, quite mm -hmm. hard, I think, as well. You get Mexican restaurants. Ultimately, I think. You just need to have kind of the passion and time and energy and uh, just to do it and just to give it a go and not be scared that it might fail. Make sure you know you're on the right level of who you want to work with and then you should just have fun, enjoy it. Be conscious of what type of gallery you want to set up and how you want to do it, like sort of think about it beforehand but then just do it and don't think too much perhaps. So sort of make conscious decisions, because I think that's important. And then just get on with it. Buy a lot of polyfiller. Like, Endless supply. Yeah, be prepared for a lot of hard work. Like, long nights. Like, but the time you put in, you'll get it back.